Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and we are continuing our playlist today on 2023's external exams in Queensland by looking at short response questions on earth geometry. Now, before we get into that, I just want to tell you a little bit about how you can engage with us here at McClutchy Maths. Firstly, you could like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next video is ready to watch. Also consider super liking this video. That's a way that you can give back and thank us for all of the work that we've been putting in here at the channel. Um, it just give it donates a dollar or two and um, that helps us running the costs and keeping this channel going with great resources for you. You could consider telling someone about this video. Why not tell us in the comments? Why not put the um, video on your class OneNote or even share it with a friend or family member? And why not follow us on Facebook and Instagram? Well, let's get straight into our first earth geometry question that was on the paper. Question 16 worth three marks. If it is 2 a.m. local time in town A and we're given the coordinates, calculate the local time in town B and we're given the coordinates here. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to try and sketch out what's really going on here. We know one town's in the west, the other town's in the east. So I'm going to pop town A over here because I'm told it is west and in town B over here, I'm told it's east. And we know it's 2 a.m. over here, but we don't know what time it is there. Now, this particular um, drawing is actually not going to earn you any marks at this point, but it's just helping us to get a picture of what's going on. We know this is zero degrees here um, and that all our time zones come out of Greenwich. So that's somewhere in England and we've got 90 degrees west of England, 120 degrees east of England there. OK, so we need to work out the times. Now, first of all, if we work out the difference in longitude, because we know all our times run off our longitude zones. So if we can work out that difference in longitude between those longitude lines, then we can work out um, that time difference. So 90 degrees to zero here, 120 degrees to zero there. Add those together, we get 210 degrees difference between the two towns. Now that's our difference in longitude. It's actually our first mark out of three, calculating the angular difference. The next thing we're going to do is have a remember of some of the facts that we've learned. These are not on our formula sheets, but we know that each hour in a day is worth 15 degrees because the Earth does a rotation of 360 degrees in one day. If we divide that over 24 hours, that every time we pass through 15 degrees, we've passed an hour. So if we can work out how many lots of 15 degrees are in 210, we'll know how many hours they're apart. So let's take 210 degrees and divide that by 15 degrees. We get exactly 14 hours. So there's a 14 hour difference between these two towns. And... We've now worked our second point together, our second mark. Fantastic. Okay, the next thing we need to do, we've been given some time here, 2 a.m. here, and we've got a 14-hour difference. We've got to work out, is it 2 a.m., is it before the 2 a.m., or is it after the 2 a.m.? Who knows? Well, we should know with that 14-hour time difference, we know that Eastern days get the new day first. Okay, so if you think about that, um, all those eastern countries, New Zealand, Australia, Pacific Islands, Japan, places like that, we all get um, a new day first because we are east of zero degrees. So that means that this town here is going to be um, behind town A or another way of saying that is town B is ahead of town A by 14 hours. So if it's 2 a.m. here, this town's already experienced 2 a.m. They're 14 hours later, so we need to add 14 hours to 2 a.m. So an easy way to do that if you've got 14 is to break that up into 12 and then two more. So 2 a.m. plus 12 hours makes 2 p.m. Add two more, you get 4 p.m. We got our third mark for determining that local time in town B question achieved. Um, there are alternative ways to get your answer. You could work backwards and do different things like that. So if you jump onto the QCAA's website, they've got some alternative ways of presenting this solution that you might want to have a look at. Um, my way is not um, a wrong way. It's just a different way of getting there. So um, in fact, I think the QCAA actually published on their external exam papers two different ways to get there. Mine is one of them. Okay, here's question 18 and it's worth four marks. The locations of three space research stations or sites in Australia are listed in the table. We've got site A, B and C with a bunch of coordinates here. Part A wants us to work out which site is closest to the equator and that's worth one mark. Now we know the equator is a line of latitude at zero degrees. So we're interested 
in our latitude lines. Which one is closest to zero degrees? They're all south of the equator. Um, so remember, latitude comes before longitude. The way I remember that is LA in the alphabet. If I was alphabetizing, something would be before LO. So it always comes first. So these are our latitude coordinates here. Which one is closest to zero? Well, now that we know that's latitude, that's actually pretty easy. Um, it's going to be closest to zero, which is site C. And that's our first mark out of four marks. Site C is the closest. Okay, part B wants to name the state or territory where site A is located worth one mark. So here is site A up here. What we need to do is use this map to work out where 32 degrees south and 116 degrees east is. Now, thankfully, we've got these lines here are marked with the easts and these lines here are marked with the south. So it's pretty straightforward. We just need to work out where 32 degrees is. So if I look over here at 30, it's gonna be between 30 and 40. In fact, if you had a ruler with you in the exam, you could work out fairly precisely where that is. I've just marked a bit of an estimate here of where 32 is um, in the whole scheme of things and 116 degrees. So if we come up here, um, it's not there. It's gonna be in that bracket there. So we'll come down to the bottom end, 110. It'll be just more than halfway. So halfway is about here. There's 116 degrees. If I extend those two arms up, it hits the bottom tip of Western Australia. So now I just need to state site A is in Western Australia. Boom shakalaka, I've got my next mark. Okay, the last part of this, determine and explain which two sites are in the same time zone. Okay, so the first thing you need to remember is that our time zones, we've talked about this earlier in the video, are the ones that run vertically. They are our longitude lines. The reason why they're called, the way I remember longitude lines is that they're the longest ones because they follow all the great circles on the planet. And our longitudes are always gonna run parallel to one another there. So we need to work out which ones have the same longitude. Well, that's fairly straightforward. It's the second part of the coordinate here, but B and C have the same longitude here of 136 degrees east. So that means they're in the same time zone, technically speaking, although we do know that some places have weird time zones, but technically it's the standard time zone, meaning it lines up with your longitude. So we get our final two marks here. We've identified B and C, and some of this writing here that I've done is part of my explanation. So notice here, some people might not read the question very carefully and they might just jump in and write B and C, but you need to have that explanation there. This is enough of an explanation saying that they've got the same longitude and are therefore in the same time zone. That's an explanation of why you've come up with that answer. So when you see these cognitive verbs here, determine, determine means work it out, explain means give reasons. So you need to do both parts to get the full two marks. So read your questions really carefully. Question 25 worth five marks. The map shows a land border from X to Y. And this looks to me like it's Papua New Guinea and, New and Indonesia. Okay, firstly, we've got to state the latitude and longitude of X to the nearest degree. So once again, this is where having your ruler is really handy because you can work out using your ruler drawing a line across here where things are. Now, if I draw all the way out there, it's not quite three degrees, but it's closest to three degrees. In fact, it looks like it's probably more like two and a half degrees, but they did say to the nearest degree, so rounding that up, it's three degrees south, okay? The longitude is 141. That's fairly straightforward, okay? So if I look at the halfway mark here, halfway is 140. And this one's halfway between 140 and 142. It's 141 degrees east. So I'm gonna state my coordinates as three degrees south, 141 degrees east. And I'm going to get my first mark for this question. I got my full marks for part A. Part B now wants me to state the latitude and longitude of Y to the nearest degree. So same skill set here is measuring where it is. So let's start first of all with that latitude. And it's just a little bit more than halfway, but rounding that to the nearest degree, it's nine degrees, okay? So latitude first, then longitude. Now let's do the longitude. And if I bring that down, it's, well, here's about the halfway mark, 140. So it's 141 degrees east. And funnily enough, it's the same as town X. We can see that there because they're on the same line together and it's vertical. 
Okay, so our coordinates are 9 degrees south, 141 degrees east. We get our second mark there for correctly determining the latitude and longitude of y to the nearest degree. Okay, part C. Now we've got to find the distance between x and y in kilometres. So we've just worked out that both those towns had the same longitude. So that's going to be really important for us in working out which formula to choose. Here's our formulas from our formula sheet. Now, this is one of those ones you need to memorize for yourself. Which one is which? Now, we should know that, well, for example, all our great circles, our lines of longitude, they are all equal in length around the, the Earth. So we've got a fairly simple formula here. But our latitude lines, and the way I remember latitude is it sounds like ladder. They run up and down like rungs on a ladder. They've got the cos in here because each of those circles is a different size. So in this particular case, we've got the same longitude. We have to use this formula here. So we now know from our previous part when we did our working that our angular distance is going to be 9 degrees take away 3 degrees. Here's our 3 degrees here. Here's our 9 degrees here, which gives us a 6 degree difference. That's our angular distance there. We get a mark for working that out. Okay, now we're going to substitute this 6 degrees into the formula. So there's our formula, multiply it by 6. And hello, we're getting another mark for picking the right rule. So knowing the reason why this one is longitude and this one is same latitude, that will help you to get your fourth mark. And we've worked that out, 667.2 kilometres. And we've given our units there as well, which is really important, determining the distance there. And that's our fifth and final mark. And they are all the questions on the paper. So did you find this video helpful? And if so, please don't forget to engage with us further. We outlined those ways that you could do that earlier in the video. Don't forget to jump onto our partner's website, exam-insights.com. This is your one-stop shop for all of the 2023 and previous year's exams and exam solutions. It's a wonderful free resource for students and teachers. Well, thank you for so much for watching today. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Have an amazing day.